guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. Today I want to go over with you the best forms of self-treatment for piriformis syndrome. Now piriformis is probably a word you've heard before, but it's actually a muscle and it can truly be a pain in the butt. Ha ha ha, because that's where that muscle is. So it starts over in the sacrum and then comes right into this bone and attaches on the side of the hip and that bone's called your greater trochanter. You don't have to memorize any of this stuff. Just know that it's this muscle back here in the butt. So sometimes pain in the butt can come from that muscle. Other times it can actually come from the spine. Uh, check out my video on sciatica to make sure that you don't have anything coming from that lumbar spine. That can also cause pain in the butt and then pain down the leg. So today though, we're talking about this muscle, how to get that feel better, to whew, get that to feel better, and then also that helps the back of the leg pain to feel better too. So step one is you wanna actually get some blood flow going in there and loosen it up. So self-massage, or you could go get a massage, that's always awesome too, but that's definitely the way to go. That's the first thing you wanna start with. Now, you wanna make sure that you don't go too deep. So I actually don't recommend sitting on a foam roller or using a tennis ball because the sciatic nerve runs underneath, through, or on top of that piriformis muscle. So if that muscle is tight and that nerve runs underneath or through it, all you're gonna do is cause compression into that nerve. And let me tell you, nerves get really pissed off if you smush them. They don't like that at all. So a lot of times people go, well, it kind of feels good. And then they go, ah, that really doesn't feel good. So you want to go gentle to the area. So I'm actually going to use the derma edge to do that. It helps save my hand a little bit. I'm going to go in a little bit of a cross-legged position just to put that muscle on stretch a little. And then it's literally super duper gentle. In one direction, you can play around and figure out which way feels the best. And you're gonna do that until you go, okay, that's a little less tight and yucky feeling, okay? Once you do that, then you're going to follow it up with a stretch. And two of my favorites are lying down. So you're gonna cross that ankle over that leg. And then as long as it feels okay, you're gonna bring those hands underneath that opposite thigh and bring it right up towards your chest. Okay, so you're stretching all of that left side out. Sometimes that one feels like a little bit too much, so I'll have people start with their foot on the ground, and then you can actually, again, crossing that ankle over, and then just bringing that knee across to the opposite shoulder sometimes feels a little bit better. So 30 seconds to a minute, really let yourself relax into it. And if you're doing this one, sometimes if you actually play around with the angle, you'll feel a little bit more of a stretch. Not a pain, that's super duper important, just a stretch, okay? So once you've got blood flow going loosened up, it's all lovely and stretch, then you can go ahead and work on the strengthening of it. You can do this on the bed or on the floor, same thing with any of these two, first two that I just showed you. But you're gonna go right onto your stomach, cross that ankle, and then make sure you Keep your neck in mind here too, don't hurt that. But then we're gonna lift and rotate that knee right up. Try not to lean with it, right? You're just using that left leg. So make sure that this one doesn't hurt. You may have to wait a little bit before you're able to start the strengthening part. But you wanna shoot for about 10 to 15 repetitions and just once a day is good. So start with the soft tissue work Follow it up with a stretch. Once that feels good, you're gonna add that strengthening in so that you can totally get rid of that pain. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Check out my website at drchristyennis.com and you can follow me on Instagram too at drchristyennis. Thanks guys.